Hi, brothers and sisters. This is John Casilla, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Our gospel for today is taken from the ninth chapter of the book of Matthew, verses 36 onward, crossing to the eighth verse of chapter 10. This is the account of the sending out of the 12 disciples of Christ. In this account, Jesus laid eyes on the crowds that have been following him, feeling them troubled and seemingly abandoned, leaderless like sheep without a shepherd. And then he turns to his disciples with an invitation to take part in the mission, saying, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So as the master of the harvest, to send out laborers for his harvest. They were given authority by Jesus to drive out unclean spirits, to cure the sick, and even to raise the dead. Jesus gave them the opportunity to seek out his lost sheep and to bring them into an experience of the love of God. He gave them extraordinary authority to do as he would so that many more may come to know about the Christ. Why is this calling significant, my dear brothers and sisters? Well, first, because this shows that Jesus feels. He isn't some distant God who has no interest in those whom he has created, in those who are desperate, and in those who are lost. He was moved with a lot of pity by so many who needed to encounter him in their troubles, be it illness, despair, or even life direction. His heart felt for them, and compassion prompted him to do more. Second, Jesus calls. Jesus asks us to participate, an opportunity for others to see the face of Jesus through us, to know the touch of Jesus through us, to feel the love of Jesus through us. The call of the Lord for more workers to come to the vineyard was a call he was making not only to the 12 whom he eventually sent, but to all of us at the present time to take part in the great commission of Christ. So, Jesus equips. He understood the limitations of a bunch of weak, uneducated, impatient, sinful, and overall unworthy men to do his mission. And so as he summons them, he also empowers them to demonstrate what life in the Lord means. He's teaching them about scriptures, his examples of compassion and courage, and he's spending time with them for all intended to prepare them to run after his lost sheep. Fourth, Jesus sends out. Our Lord knew how many were thirsting to experience him. And it would not have made sense to keep his disciples, whom he has called and trained, to stay with him. Jesus sent his missionaries to spread the good news that he is the Messiah, the one true Son of God, and with whom there is eternal life. As Jesus has called the 12 disciples over 2,000 years ago, so is he calling us now. As he equipped his disciples, so is he equipping us now. And as he sent out his disciples, so is he sending us now. If you're one who has life in the Lord, who has committed yourself to him, but has not really participated in the life of his church, perhaps you, my dear brother or sister, Christ might be calling you now as he did his disciples. Pray. Pray for the Spirit of the Lord, not only for the calling, but also to be equipped and to be sent out by Him. The Lord is calling, and those whom He calls, He enables, and those whom He has enabled, He sends out. On the other hand, if you, my dear brother or sister, have been feeling like lost sheep, like, like a rudderless boat, lost and leaderless, take heart. Jesus sees you. Jesus feels you. Jesus has compassion for you. He wants you to find healing. He wants you to have a full life. He wants you to be able to live in peace. Peace that comes only from knowing him, loving him, 
and following him. Jesus, through the men and women that he has called, equipped, and sent out, is looking for you. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, brothers and sisters. Jesus is looking for you, whether to send you to mission or to bring you back like lost sheep. God will meet you where you are because God will always find you wherever you are. God loves you, kapatid. Know that he thinks about you and loves you always. And if you are blessed today, do like and share this page so that many more may hear about this great, great, great love of God. Have a blessed weekend.